as a professional cuddler, right? How much do you charge these clients? How much do people pay to like be professionally cuddled? Uh, my rate in Denver was a little bit different in New York. Um, but uh, so in Denver, it was $80 an hour plus a travel fee. If I travel okay. in New York, it's 120 an hour plus a travel fee. Okay. The question I have for you and when you ask that is, is that, does that feel different asking a professional cuddler than it would asking somebody else? What do you mean? Would you ask that question if somebody came onto your show who's an electrician? Okay. Like would I, would I ask an electrician how much they charge? Yeah. No, the reason why I wouldn't ask is because it's something that I can find the standards for. Mm -hmm. Right. I, in fact, I'm glad you said that because my professional line of work is construction management. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know that. Right. Right. Um, but even if it's a field that I'm not familiar with, right. Let's say it's a professional masseuse, right. I can go to a website and find out how much somebody charges because I've actively participated in stuff like that. Right. So fun fact, you can actually go to a website and I'm find sure out how much. I'm sure you can. I charge. I'm sure. I'm and sure. you can find my profile. Yeah. I, I'm sure you can. I'm just saying it's not something that I've actively, you see what I'm saying? Had experience with. Had experience no, with I, or I had it. interest in to even know which websites to check, right? Yeah. So now that I have this initial intrigue of the field, right? Mm -hmm. I figured I'd ask someone who's in it because- I have no idea what the standards are. A website could say something and I haven't explored enough websites to know what the standard is or what, you right. know, what, for sure. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why, why I do it. And somebody, somebody who's not in construction might be intrigued by, and that's happened before. It's like, oh, how much, how much does it cost to build a building? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, right. I don't know. We, which, we, we which, can explore. And this you is, know? That's totally fair reason. It's a fair question. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the, the more, um, that like the flip side of that is when people are like, Oh, how much do you make? Right. Which is like, how, what is your income from this thing? And that's, that's the weird question, right? Because when you tell, tell people oh, I'm a construction manager, they're probably not like, yeah, what's your salary, dude? You know? <laughs> and, and it's amazing how often professional cuddlers we get that. Right. I, I think but, the reason, I think the reason why you might get that again is because it's not standardized to, to the mind of the people, right? When you think of someone who's like in management or who's a principal at a school, right? Mm -hmm. There's probably enough of them where it's like a structured value that you place on someone in that space. Whereas when they look at someone who is less structured or in a creative space and they say they do this professionally, they're going to mm -hmm. ask that question, right? So if someone said that they are a professional Broadway singer, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they are more they are more likely to be in the realm of people who are asked how much you make doing that versus mm -hmm. someone who's a dentist. Where they don't even know how much. But in our culture, that's a like not a generally polite thing to ask. And I I agree with you a thousand percent. There's a lot of things that are polite. I, I think it should be. I think it's, I think everybody should talk about their salaries, but what? it is, I'm, I'm just like pointing out, highlighting this, which is not what you asked, right? You asked a little bit different question, which, yeah. but that, 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 that there is this, this, this trend of people in a more niche profession of whatever kind yeah. getting this question, which we wouldn't ask somebody else. Sure. If it's niche and it's something that you didn't even know existed, you're going to start asking a lot of questions, hence this whole podcast. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't go up For to sure. a dentist and say, what's the biggest molar you ever had to deal with? <laughs> you know what I mean? How big was the biggest cavity? Is that crazy? But if a dentist was the first dentist on earth, I'd be like, what is a dentist? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've never even heard of a dentist. You know what I mean? I think that's the problem where like, because it's so niche that you're mm -hmm. going to be, it's kind of like, okay, I'll give you something way left field, way left field. When I travel to other countries mm -hmm. and they're not used to seeing people with my complexion, questions get asked. They ask to take pictures with me, right? But I don't even fault them because it's like, you're just not used to this, yeah. right? Your environment it does not produce this regularly. So I get <laughs> it. 
You know what I mean? This is the same scenario. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very fair, a very fair um, response. Yeah. You know, 